Hello there, Libra. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be your full moon reading for June 17th, and we're going to look at the second half of the lunar cycle. So we're going to go the 17th to July 2nd, which is when the new moon will be happening. So we're going to look at that time period and see what you have manifested for this moon and, uh, and what to expect and what to release. So let's see what's going on. All right. If you're new here, my name is Melissa. And I do zodiac tarot readings on the new moon and the full moon not on them, but like kind of around that time period so you know what to expect for it. Hopefully I get them out before. Um, sometimes that doesn't happen. Life happens. But um, I do those readings and I also do a video every Monday on some type of meta metaphysical topic. We call it Mon metaph uh, Metaphysical Monday. And um, there's stuff in there about crystals and there's uh meditations and smudging and other info like that if you're interested in woo woo stuff uh the link to the playlist is in the description box below all right so um i'm gonna give you my little general reading spiel this is pretty general um i'm gonna connect to as many people as i can so there will be messages for you as well as other people so please if something doesn't resonate for you then it wasn't meant for you Please take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. If none of it happens to resonate, um, I would check out your uh, moon sign, rising sign, or Venus sign. Um, being that we're talking about full moon energy, you might be connecting more with your moon sign. Uh, if you're not sure what any of that means, there is a video in the Metaphysical Monday playlist um, explaining what the difference is between um, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs and what they mean for you. Okay, I'm done shuffling. And I think I said everything that I'm supposed to say at the beginning. All right, let's get started. Actually, I didn't. I'm gonna give away a free reading when I reach 1,000 subscribers, so make sure you hit subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. All right, that's it. <laughs> All right, Libra. What is Libra looking at this full moon? Okay, we have the Hanged Man, the Nine of Cups, sitting pretty, and the Ten of Wands. All right. Um, not too shabby, not too shabby. The Hanged Man, it looks like we've gotten a new perspective. Um, so we're working on, uh, we were working on, this is what we've led up to is a new perspective. So maybe we've gained a new perspective. Um, whatever intentions you put out there um, during the new moon, um, that's what's coming uh, to the surface at the full moon. The full moon is like the peak of the cycle. That's where everything kind of comes together for you um, right before we start to release uh getting ready for a new cycle and we have the nine of cups which is a very happy satisfied just kind of chilling sitting back um enjoying life and kind of just happy with yourself kind of way so um then we also have the ten of wands which is kind of gathering everything up now sometimes the ten of wands can take on the energy of maybe overdoing it or um having too much going on but I'm going with the expression on her face and it's really not super stressed. She doesn't look, she doesn't look overwhelmed. She looks like she's got a lot going on and, but she's handling it. So she's handling her business. She has literally, well, not literally, she has her shit together, right? She has her six together. <laughs> okay. So sitting pretty, sitting pretty, enjoying life with a new perspective. You have a lot going on, but you're handling it well right okay so that's what we have going on right now right at the right at the full moon area this is where this is what our peak is looking like so let's see what we need to release and um what is coming after the full moon for us okay libra after the full moon after the full moon for libra five of pentacles okay nine of swords reversed and the king of cups Okay, so I feel like, let's see. Feeling left out in the cold. That was the first card that came up, right? So that's kind of feeling left out. Um, abandoned is the word I'm hearing. The Nine of Swords is reversed. So I feel like this is kind of coming out of uh, some anxiety. Like your anxiety, you're anxious about something. You're not sleeping well. Something's bothering you. But being reversed, I feel like you're coming out of it, right? I feel like you're 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 regaining some uh regaining not 
like a lack of stress, whatever that is, relax, relaxation. You're 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 calming down. You're you're calming your mind is calming down. Um, and then we have the King of Cups. So I feel like maybe there's somebody coming in for you. If you are single, I feel like this might be a gentleman caller coming your way, um, offering you something. But you're already sitting pretty. You're already, you know, pretty happy with the way things are. I don't know. I don't feel like, I don't feel like that you want to accept this offer. That's what I'm getting from that. I feel like it's nice to be wanted. My sister told me when I was like 15 and it like, okay, here we are like 20 so many years later. Uh, it's, you don't always want to go, but it's nice to be invited to the party, right? You, you, you want to be invited to the party even if you don't really want to go. It's nice to be invited. Um, so I feel like that's kind of the situation here. You're good with yourself. You have gained a new perspective. You, your new perspective, I feel like, is um, is that you that you can love yourself. That you don't need to depend on somebody else to love you. So I feel like when this, <laughs> it's summer. The kids are home. Um, this this person who kind of wants to. I mean, he's not really. He's not offering you the cup, but he has the cup. So I feel like there's somebody in your life that's kind of like. I'll be here when you're ready to accept it. Like maybe he knows, maybe he knows that you're not ready for that. Um, but I feel like putting these two together, I feel like you're, 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 maybe you're leaving him out in the cold is kind of what I'm getting there. Um, but you're coming out of whatever this, whatever this anxious um, feeling is, you're coming out of that. I feel like this, this new perspective that you're gaining this full moon, um, doesn't his head kind of look like a full moon with the, it's like almost like a halo right um so the 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 kind of the story of the hangman not story of the hanged man but like the perception generally of the hangman is that he hung himself there like he's there for a reason he he wanted to be away from everyone and upside down and uh, you know like he he wanted this this is this is him taking a break and and just trying to realign his spine you know i know whatever those machines are that you go on and they go upside down like he's there on purpose he's there for a reason and that reason is usually um perceived as gaining a new perspective a perspective perspective whatever same thing. making up my own words um but yeah i feel like i feel like you're doing good and whatever this thing is that's coming this this person that's in your life that's kind of just like i'm here when you're ready um let's take a trip on my boat or something, you know, that, that person is, is there when you're ready, but you're not ready. You're, you're not interested right now. Um, you're still working on coming out of whatever is kind of causing you some stress. Um, but I, I feel like, I feel like you're doing it. You're, you're really doing it. You're doing the work, right? Um, yeah, I really like your reading. It's so short because we just got like right to the point. Let me get some more cards just for fun because this is a short reading and I, I, I want you to, I don't know, I want you to, <laughs> I want you to get more bang for your time, I guess, because it's free, so it's not bang for your buck. There's no bucks. What do we have? Oh, goodness. Okay. Wow. I didn't even get to ask the question. Okay. No, that's too many cards. That's just a bad shuffle. That's like six cards. We're not doing that. That's like a whole fucking spread. Okay. Let's see, what do we have going on for Libra? Do we have any advice for Libra? Do we have any advice for Libra? Advice for Libra after the full moon. The chariot, take a trip. Oh, okay. What did I just say? You wanna go for a ride on my boat? I have a boat, you wanna go on my boat? Yeah, Um. maybe you wanna go. Maybe you wanna take a trip, right? Um, but life is all about balance and so is this card. So we have, we have the dark horse and the white horse. We have balance, um, but also is kind of known for travel. It's the chariot. It is, aside from a couple of cards that like that have the boat in it, this is the only like mm, travel card in my opinion. Um, yeah, I feel like get out there, get out there, make some, make some waves, do some things. Travel some places if you don't have a trip planned already, um, which mm, I don't think you do. I think you're okay to stay in where you're at, right? Right? You're just kind of happy where you're at. 
I feel like maybe getting out of out of town or I mean, just out of the house even, um, I feel like that will help you kind of get away from this that you're already getting away from. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're doing a great job and you don't need this guy right here. You can leave him out in the cold for now. Um, but that might come to be something in the future, um, especially if you um, take him up on his offer to go for a ride on his boat, <laughs> right? And now that is super, super specific. So if that message is for you, if somebody actually has asked you to go for a ride on their boat, please leave me a comment. I need to know this. <laughs> and I need to know what you said. Um, so thank you so much for joining me for your reading. I will see you in the new moon reading um, where we start a new cycle and look at what we should be focusing on for that cycle. So thank you again for watching. Don't forget to check out the description box below for Metaphysical Monday. And I would love it, love it, love it if you subscribed and hit that bell. So thank you again. And as always, have a blessed day.